think I know why there's bars on the window. First floor in New York City, that's kind of a risk. Security cameras. Look, these people just moved in too. There's a brand new mattress and stuff in there. But even though it feels like a prison, do you feel safer in here or out there? to Brooklyn. Today we're looking at a place in Bed-Stuy. This Brazilian place looks awesome. These look really good. Kind of like a samosa. A coxina. I probably said that wrong. And look at that. They got iced coffee. And this is literally the closest place to the apartment that you could go and get food. Oh wait. This Chinese place is technically closer. I bet it's good. Local law enforcement eats here. And you know it's good because it has the same menu as every other place. It's a sign of success. Then over here we got local coffee and then a local, maybe it's a tea house? I'm not sure, but that looks delicious. I love how this is called the healthy organic market. I love Butterfingers and now that I know that they are organic, I love them even more. Ditto these Pringles. Oh, and I love these kettle chips. My wife has been telling me my diet's horrible, but now I can tell her that it's okay because it's organic. I, uh, I don't really want to ride through that. Can someone explain to me how this happens? Did hooligans with a wrench do this? Did it just explode because there's too much water pressure? Now across from that, you can tell we're in a real residential neighborhood. Look, there's like a school over here. And that's one of the differences with living in Brooklyn. There's a lot of apartments out here. And neighborhoods like this are some of the last affordable places you can find something to live in. That is an odd looking building. The Brooklyn Bank? It was either a church or a bank at one point. And look at all these little stores. We've got one restaurant, a place for pets, and then another coffee shop. Over here, we've got real pizza. And then here, we've got ourselves fake pizza. Pizza. Notice they refer to it only as oven baked goodness. Their lawyers were like, don't call it pizza. That might get us sued. Call it something else. Every time I'm in this neighborhood, this is always the most popular spot. Brooklyn blend. I don't know what goes on over there that's different than over here, but this is where everybody is. This might be like a juice press. I see some coconuts in the window. Okay, yeah, there we go. I think I know why there's bars on the window. First floor in New York City, that's kind of a risk. Security cameras. Look, these people just moved in too. There's a brand new mattress and stuff in there. There's also this full grocery store directly across the street. Look, the building is right there. It's kind of a luxury building. This definitely is, and look, there's a dollar store. I guess after you pay the rent in New York, there's no money left over. But this is the cheapest two bedroom you can get in a building like this anywhere right now. And if you wanna rent it, check out the video description. Okay, jokes aside, it is a really nice place. I just think the only thing is that people are gonna be worried maybe about living on the first floor. But look at that, we got two bedrooms, things are new, and this is 2,900, so less than 1,500 each. building has a fantastic laundry room. And these are brand new high-end machines from LG. Oh no, this looks confusing. Hopefully it's not. Never had to scan a code to do my laundry. To get to this room, we had to like go into the stairwell and go up and then come over. That's why there were so many doors. But this is great, having to leave to clean your stuff, that's horrible and if you live here, you don't have to. It looks like this is the residence lounge. Judging by the leather couch, the chairs, the little fireplace, and the TV. If you don't have your own TV, but you wanna watch TV, and you don't care if people know what horrible taste you have in movies, you're gonna love it here. And there's even AC. I don't think 
this is supposed to be on a private bike rack. Wouldn't it be even funnier if it was locked up so that like no one would take it and do what they want with it? But what is cool is they've turned this backyard area into something useful. There's a lot of space out here uh, and they have the garbage like all the way on this side so they could do more with the furniture. And then of course there's the bike storage, which is nice. I actually hid my bike back here because I've never been to this building before. So right after you come in, the layout here really starts to make a lot of sense. Over here by the bike, you could throw off your shoes, put some hooks on the wall, hang your jackets. We've also got video intercom. No one's out there. And what's also nice is we've got a remote for the thermostats. That's very handy. No power. But look, you can tell we got ourselves a really nice full-size bath in here. It's big. We've also got a really nice looking tub. Interesting wallpaper, little soap holder right here for the essentials. How is our storage? Ooh, that's a big medicine cabinet. And then check this out, we got... Okay, I've been learning that a lot of these have like a fake top drawer and then the bottom drawer is either two separate drawers like what we have here, which I prefer, or you'll grab this and like both of these come out, but it's nice, we've got decent storage. And there's a fan, which means your smelly uncle can come over. Wonderful. Okay, dimensions here are really good. It's 17 feet by 13 and a half feet. You will be able to fit a lot of furniture in this living room. I would probably just throw that maybe in that bedroom. Then you could put a couch here and have it facing what could be an entertainment center. And then over in this area, you could have a table maybe for four people. The only trick here is even though it feels really big and open, which it is, you've got these two bedroom doors here and you don't really want to block those. But one trick is to keep this door right here here, closed at all times. Now you're creating a corner where you could potentially put something else and this doorway is over two feet so you'll still be able to fit in. Okay, it's not loud here. And you'd think with trucks like that and a busy street it would be, but it's been virtually silent. Yes, you're probably gonna wanna treat these windows with curtains or shades. But to get a room that's this big and do it for under $2,000 right now, that's a win. Actual size here is nine by 12. And if you keep this door just like that, in the corner you could put either your bed or a wardrobe and then you can get other stuff over here by these windows. And then in this corner, it looks like the perfect spot for a desk. We've also got ACs in all the bedrooms. Now this second room, it's almost the same size. The only difference is we lose a little bit of space right here where there is a closet. Is it worth it? I would say so. Look at this, this is a pretty big closet. What is this thing? Okay, those are wires. This one right here is gonna be the cable hookup. Most modern apartments have something like this for your internet equipment, which is nice. It's not gonna like be on the ground cluttering things. It's less likely to get unplugged. Speaking of unplugged, man, it's a shame we can't get these lights on. small dishwasher, but it's a nice one. Well, I just hope it takes less than three hours to do a load. That's what mine does and I barely ever use it. But all of the appliances in here seem like a step up from the usual. I think everything here is LG, including, how do I open this? There we go, including the mic, oh, no, something else. Fridge seems big. And we've got decent counter space. Maybe you could plug in up to four things if you get small appliances. And I personally love these partially see-through cabinets. That's great. Once you move into a new place, you don't have to scramble and try to remember where you put everything. Because as long as it's not down there, you'll be able to see it. And if you want to live in a big place that's not that expensive, check out the video description. Subscribe if you had fun. And then pick something else. I will see you in the next video.